We learned tonight the National Weather Service reports the storm that ravaged Turner County was not a tornado, but a severe thunderstorm. The 80 mile per hour winds were fatal, taking the life of 73 year old William Major. We continue our team coverage with WLB News 10's Risa Buckles live here. She spoke to neighbors who are still shaken. Jim, neighbors were heartbroken and shocked this morning when they saw their neighbor's home in ruins from the storm. A lot of people were driving by to get a look at the damage done by last night's storm to this home, killing a Turner County man last night. 73-year-old William Major's body was pulled from the rubble this morning. A brown luggage, dryer and bed frame lie in ruins, once the home of Major. With him being less than a half a mile from our house, that could have easily been us. The tragic event was too close for comfort to Turner County resident and neighbor Deanne Richards. Very upset being that I felt like what if we could have made it to him last night. But it was her neighbor that actually found Major under the debris this morning. Turner County coroner says neighbors went down to check on Major and called 911. The storm went through his home around 11 p.m. and he died from trauma. Very concerned being that it was a basically a small metal storage building that he had made into a home. The home couldn't withstand the 80 mile winds that left it in pieces. We had seen him passing in the road. Um, seemed to be a very, very friendly guy. The best word to describe Richard's emotions would be lucky. Tree limbs split in half, a trampoline destroyed, cars dented, all just steps from her house. But Richard is thankful that she and her family are alive. We were very, very lucky. Officials say Turner County is a good example why folks should listen to the weather warnings and move quickly when issued.